Hey, so here's how you would upload multiple images while you're adding a record. So first, let's start off at the inputs. So if you have an array of images or any file in your database, um, you'll get this input that looks like this. Um, it's an image array. However, when we're actually uploading inputs or when we're taking inputs to upload images through the API, we need to use this file resource input because that's what's compatible with uh, files, base64 encoded files, and also um, image URLs. So the way to find that is if we hit this plus button here, we can scroll down to storage, and then we'll see file resource right at the top. We can change the structure from single uh, to a list, and we can even set a min or max on the list items. So we want to use the file resource here, okay? So that's step one. Um, now in the function stack, the first thing we need to do there is create a variable that's an empty array, okay? So I just have an array here, I'm calling it new images, and we need to establish this variable first because we're gonna reference it uh, in our loop here, which we're about to go over. Okay, so next step is we need to loop through the input of our file resource here, and it's called content, okay? And I'm just naming it my file. So we need to loop through all those, that array of images. Once we're in the loop, uh, the first step is to create an image from file. So we're creating the metadata from the file to be stored in the Xano database, okay? So the value there is just this looped variable uh, called my file here. And then I'm naming this um, uh, my image here, okay? So that's all the metadata from all the pictures. And after that, still within the loop, we're gonna use this function um, array, add to beginning. So we're gonna uh, add all these uh, new image metadatas to that variable we established at the top, okay? So the existing variable is new images, which is right here. And the value is coming from create image from file, which is called my image, okay? So once we do all that, the last step here is just to add a record um, to our table. So I'm simply just taking, uh, I have a name and description on the inputs, and then the actual image array that I'm adding is this variable uh, new images, which I first established and then added right here in the loop. And that'll add all my picks. So if we go ahead and run this, um, I've already run this a couple times. We'll run new here. We'll say uh, something like banana here and say this is tasty. And I'm using an image URL here. If you want to use uh, a file, you are going to want to use Swagger or a front end, or you can use um, Base64 encoded here in the debugger as well. So if I go ahead and run this, um, we'll get this response back. You can see two images. Let's jump to the database, and we'll go into my table here. And you can see here is banana that just got added, and um, both of my uh, pictures right here. So as you can see, that worked. Um, and that's how you would upload uh, multiple images while you add a record.